we got to get started. So I am really, really excited to come to you guys tonight. I'm excited to be back home, even though I really hated to get off that cruise ship yesterday. And I really hated to leave Bloomingdale's too. So I always come home really pumped every time we have an opportunity for us to gather. It's not even like the trip. The trip was amazing and you will hear more about that. But it's for me, it's the opportunity to connect. It's the opportunity to hear new stories, new testimonies. Every single time, even 10 years in, my belief continues to soar. And so tonight we're going to share with you. And the reason why, reason why I was like, even though I got up at 2.30 this morning to get on the to get on the shuttle to make it to the airport, Fort Lauderdale, in order to be home um, for a six o'clock flight, getting home at eight. The reason why, even though I had every reason to be like, oh, we're going to save the team call for next week is because I want to create a sense of urgency. Okay. And I want to create a sense of urgency because those of you who went on the cruise and you have not earned the cur you have not earned Punta and those of you who weren't on the cruise and you desire to earn Punta Cana, the time is now. You cannot wait any longer. You cannot snooze any longer. And every time we go on a trip like this, I hear people say, oh my gosh, I wish I was there. Oh my God, it's so much fun. Because we did, right? And because every single time we get together, we realize more and more and more the important and meaningful work that we are doing and the ways that not only are we impacting the company, but we are impacting the kingdom. And so I am just really, really excited to hear from a couple of leaders. I wanted to have everybody share, but then we would be on the call for four hours and that wasn't possible. So I grabbed a couple of leaders, mainly people who are new to um, earning leaders retreat, some a few people new to cruising. And I wanted to hear, um, wanted you all to hear from them, A, a top nugget that they learned from the sessions because the sessions were phenomenal. And also I want for them to share just a nugget, just something that they loved about the cruise, about the experience, about Plexus Corporate, about our team, whatever your heart desires. So um, super duper, it was like speed dating, talking. That's what we're doing here. We're going to go one by one, but super fast. But first up, I would love for... What did I say? I, I think I only messaged the schedule to one person. So let me look real quick. What what did I say? Um, <clears throat> so first up, we are going to have Ronyel Price. Take it away, my dear. All right. Um, so yeah, this was my first time earning leaders retreat. And I think the biggest, key, I had a few key takeaways. Robin, you told me I had five, five minutes or is it less? Five minutes. Okay, five perfect. Minutes. Okay. Um, so I think, a few things that I didn't know was one that Plexus has zero debt, cash flow positive, um, and essentially we're ripe for generational wealth. So that to me was a huge takeaway and something that I would continue to tell some of my you know potential clients. Um, the other, I kind of wrote down a few notes, spending time with people that I don't ordinarily get to spend time with on not just, you know, our Angela's team, but the greater team and actually spending time with those people and thinking, even if we were not a part of Plexus, I would legit hang with those people. So that was super impactful for me. Uh, the other piece was meeting people from all different walks of life that I'd never be able to meet in any other setting and connecting with them and learning from them and actually, you know, friending them on Facebook and exchanging phone numbers so that we can continue to build and foster relationships. Then um, another nougat, and honestly, this was confirmation because I'd heard it from my husband before. I heard it from another jewel on the ship and then another one when I was sitting in the airport. So I was like, okay, God, I hear you. I will stop banging my head against this wall thinking it's going to crack. It was the moment that you let go and realize that we, in fact, are not in control. It is then and only then can God work his magic. Um, and then last but not least, kind of the icing on the cake for me was me and my husband were not able to take a, um, a honeymoon because, I mean, we were, life was lifing. We were getting settled in a new house, in a new state. So we just didn't do it. So earning this was honestly our honeymoon. And 
him being engaged with the greater team and actually feeling like, man, some of I would absolutely hang with some of these, you know, women out and men outside of this kind of scenario. So that was that was super impactful for for me. Hello, world. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That is uh, Peter's signature statement, and I Hello, love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Peter is absolutely a part of the team. We were so glad to have him. So glad to hang with him all week long. And um, I'm just really happy. I'm really happy for you, Ronielle, that you got to have this all expense paid honeymoon. Because I don't know about y'all, but that that wasn't that wasn't too shabby. It wasn't too bad. It's a pretty nice vacation, if you ask me. Yes. Secondly, um, I love that you shared like this epiphany, this revelation that you know we're not in control. That is one of the biggest things that I learned um, when I started studying Tony Robbins years ago. Is this needing to feel certainty? People, our brains are wired to seek certainty. And so when you do a business like this, it's so uncertain. That's the reason why so many people stay in the employee realm and they never go into the entrepreneurial realm because there's literally no certainty. But what people don't understand is there's there's really no certainty anywhere. <laughs> but we, we have created this illusion and we believe this, really this lie that we can create certainty in other areas of our life, but nothing certain. Our marriage isn't certain. Our jobs aren't certain. Our de- nothing certain. Nothing is certain. And so I love that you embrace that. Um, would love to hear more a little bit later, Ronyel, um, as far as how many different ways you heard that and for that to really stick um, in this particular season being on the crew. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You did it in lickety split time. We're going to move next to Joya. Take it away, Joya. Hey, everybody. Um, as y'all know, Luther and I were on the cruise. Say hi. So, <laughs> um, we were so thankful to be able to earn it. I'll just share a few things that I took away. Okay, so I got to learn. We both got to learn a lot more about Plexus as a company. Um, I personally don't talk enough about the company, about Plexus or network marketing in general, just because people have, you know, preconceived notions about it, but being in this environment this was probably the most encouraging and and uplifting environment that luther and i have ever been in everyone wants everybody to succeed there's not like competition the people at the top are not looking down on you um everybody's pushing everyone along and it's a beautiful thing to see so we got further validation that this is where we're supposed to be this is a company that we're gonna rock with for a long time so that was one thing um Meeting some leaders like at the top, you know, listening to like Brittany Howard's podcast and other leaders that Robin tells us about or, you know, that you follow on social media, just seeing that they're regular old people. They had their kids there, their husband. They're just like frolicking around the boat, too, and willing to talk to you. Um, It's not like they're um, unapproachable or anything like that. And also seeing that they worked hard and they made it happen for themselves, for their team, for their family. They stayed focused on their why. And hearing that pretty much everyone has had like big peaks and big valleys in their journey. Like a lot of people that we've talked to, they lost primary legs during their journey, like, and they didn't stop. Like people, you know, they might have had an emerald quit. Like I, we heard that so many times. It's like, oh my gosh. And they just kept going. And that's the main thing that we kept hearing, like, keep going, do not ever give up. And I know that was in one of the sessions. I think that was part of <laughs> Tarl's bacon. Um, what do you call that? Where you like, do Acronym. Yeah, yeah, that. <laughs> so that was something that really resonated with us is never give up. Just remember why you're doing this and being a part of a community and a company that cares so much about people makes it a lot easier to keep going. Um, that's one of my other points. Plexus really cares about their people. Like I've only really been an educator. Luther works in corporate America, but we've never seen this kind of treatment to employees or, I mean, I guess brand ambassadors. Like as a teacher, you get a lunch and a mug and like a pencil, like it's, <laughs> and you don't get paid anything. Um, gift cards, but you And a gift. I mean, yeah, but this That's is from the parents. 
<laughs> yeah. Not, so this is over the top. I like literally can't even still can't believe it. Um, and that this happens all the time that there are leaders retreats every year. That convention is like um, the best of the best. And there are so many other events where they just want to pour into you and make sure that you are succeeding and that you feel appreciated and, um, and loved at the end of the day the what else the star diamond thing was really impactful because just hearing about star diamond you're like oh when am I ever going to get there like that sounds like something that's um just really far in the distance but I loved how they had them share their stories about how each of their leaders came into their came onto their team came into their lives because pretty most of them did not say yes the first time they um one I think Jessica Heffley one of hers was a hater and blocked her like and just hearing how they kept persisting they kept following up they knew that these people could do this and um eventually they joined them but just hearing about following up not just with products but with people who you want to do this with you is so important especially at the step in our business that we are trying to get some duplication and get leaders on our team so that was really encouraging and just hearing them be down to earth about that was awesome and then the last thing, since I know most of us are believers on this team, like in Luther's in ministry, I don't, I can't tell you how many families we met that were in ministry. Like it, it was insane. Um, whether, you know, most of the time it was like the wife and the husband was a pastor or both of them are in ministry or, you know, hearing about like um, diamonds and even jewels and whoever just giving, using the money that they earn with Plexus to pour into the kingdom of God is just an incredible thing. And again, further validated that this is where we're supposed to be. Um, And Plexus is a vehicle for us to pour into his kingdom. So that's all I got. Amazing. Very good recap, my friend. So many things I want to touch on, but I got to go to the next person before we run out of time. So next up is Corey Cooper. Hello, hey everyone. Um, so so good to see you all again. And uh, I just wanted to share just a few things from Leaders Retreat. It was my first in-person Leaders Retreat. So very excited um, to have, and also first cruise. So um, I, I learned, I'll, so I'll tell you my nugget from cruising is that do not forget to put your luggage out at the <laughs> night before you get off the boat. Like don't wait, don't try to do that to yourself. So just FYI. Um, so that's my cruise nugget, but my leaders retreat nugget. Um, so I'll mention something from the sessions, but then I'll also mention, um, just something it's kind of similar to what Rania highlighted on, um, as well as Julia, just this idea of the camaraderie across Plexus ambassadors, but I'll start with, um, a session. And I definitely remember, um, uh, what stuck out to me in one session was specifically around, um, what, how, no matter how long it takes you, you won't, when, when you become diamond, it won't matter how long it took you to become diamond. It'll just matter that you got there. And I think sometimes we get caught up in this time. We've been in a rank for so long and we get discouraged and we start to, uh, maybe we, we lose momentum in our business because we've been stuck at a rank for a while or it's, or we feel like it's taking us too long and it didn't take such and such too long to get to, to a particular rank. So I think we have to remember that we have to be consistent in this. And, and that was the message of, um, of this particular, I think she's Emerald, um, this particular um, jewel who commented on, we all be consistent in the seeds that you plant. You don't reap the fruit the same day you plant the seed. So you have to be consistent in your planting of the seeds and you have to show up and you have to do the things regardless of what the outcome may look like. So a lot of times we say you have to enjoy the process. You have to love the journey. And, and to me, that kind of made that what she, that um, statement that she taught on as it relates to planting the seeds really sort of made it a little bit more tangible for me, because a lot of times we say, like, separate yourself from the outcome. And that can somehow that can sometimes feel a little confusing. Like, well, what does that actually mean? And essentially what it means is that exactly what she said in this teaching is that you will plant seeds, but you're not we don't reap fruit from this. We don't reap, reap the fruit the day we plant the seed. So if we don't reap the fruit the day we plant the seed, then obviously we have to keep um, nurturing and do, I'm not a gardener, so I don't know any of the terms that go with how it puts planting seeds. So all I can say is we got to nurture whatever we plant. 
to ensure that we can continue for that plant. We have to water it, feed it, all the things so that that acts so we can actually get to the fruit. And so to me, that's what I, that's what I understand. Detach yourself from the outcome to be is that you do the work and you reach out and you follow up, um, you present, you talk about the business, you talk about the products. And then ultimately one day you'll reap the fruit from that. And I think the other part of it too, um, kind of piggybacking off of what um, Ronyelle and Joya said is this idea of the network and the community that we have with Implexus. And so there were so many things that I learned just from talking to people, just to talking to other ambassadors, not, not just ambassadors on our team, because I learned so many things about so many people that, uh, that are on this team that I never had a chance to actually sit down and talk to them. And so because of being in this leaders retreat and being in this community, I was able to sit and actually talk to people and learn about um, not only about their journey, learn about their families, learn about everything that makes them the person that they are and how they're able to share flexes with others. And so when you hear stories like that on a continual, on a, on like a consistent basis like that, you go from talking to your team, talking to other ambassadors on the um, that were at the retreat, it really does inspire you to know, to, to feel empowered in the fact that you can do this too, because everybody's journey is so different. Everybody's got a lot of stuff going on. And yet, and still, they were a, they're able to make things happen. And so for me, there's so many members on this team that were inspiration just to sit back and listen to them talk about, um, about what their journey has been like, get to know them and their family, but then also to just talk to other ambassadors on the ship who, was, who, were, who shared their story. That's me, I you know, had lunch with a, mo a mother and a daughter and just listening to the story, I was just like, wow, you know, that, that, that the testimony of her mother was amazing. And it's like, oh, I can take that back and share that with my mom. And so there's so many things that we really have to not, um, sometimes we, when we go to these things, we kind of just want to stick with the team because that's where we're comfortable. But it, it showed me that not just, it's not just about sticking with the team, but there's, there's a broader message that we have to share. And that includes us expanding to um, not sort of like be selfish and hold things onto ourselves, but share across the, the lines, across the different teams, because that's what other leaders are doing. That is different in Plexus than any other company that I've ever seen or been associated with is this idea that the leaders pour into, um, and, uh, regardless of whose team you're on, no one's worried about a team, they're just pouring into Plexus, they're pouring into all the ambassadors. And that was clear and evident across this leaders retreat. So I've probably talked over my time. So. Love, love, love. And I, I really appreciate uh, you, Corey, for talking about um, you don't reap the fruit the same day you plant the seed. That was one of my biggest takeaways the whole trip. And I am a gardener. I am, I am a, a plant person and a hundred percent. It has taught me so many lessons in seeing something through to completion because so many things are going on under the ground, under the surface that you're not saying. And then all of a sudden you have this huge harvest, whether it's beautiful plants that are all in my backyard. Thank goodness they didn't die. They were all in my greenhouse. It was super cold. But because my mom and my daughter, Willow, they watered the plants. They gave the plants some food. They gave the plants good enough sunlight and airflow by opening up my greenhouse. Guess what? My plants didn't die and they're thriving. And so it's the same thing we have to do in our business. We have to nurture, plant, water, do all the things with the seeds that we want to grow. Okay. Um, next up, really, really fast. Letha, can you share with us your experience? And then we'll close it out with one more testimony and we'll be done. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello. I just want to say, you know, I, I just, going to leaders retreat, I had no real idea what to expect. Mm -hmm. And getting there and just seeing the masses of people, I was just totally just blown away. Like it was just beyond my imagination, just seeing the masses of people there. And, you know, something that really resonated with me um, on the very first day of the session, getting uh, just, you know, listening to other diamonds and other leaders getting up to actually speak, something just kind of fell on my mind. And it was one quote that Martin Luther King said, and it I think it goes something like, those who are the happiest are the ones that do the most for others. And that just kind of, that resonated with me because as I sat there and listened to so many other leaders um, and, and even people on my team, I, I just felt 
very, very proud and very, you know, I, I just felt it, it gave me chills because I really just felt so amazing to be a part of such an awesome company and how everyone pours into each other and just to see just ordinary people, you know, and, and I'm just going to be transparent. Uh, it's just real people. I mean, they put on their underwear, just like I do one leg at a time, like ordinary people standing there and speaking about how this business has totally transformed their lives from a health standpoint, um, a wealth standpoint, and just being overall happy. So I just, I mean, I, I'm not going to keep rambling and going on and on and on, but I mean, I just, it just made me want to want this even more seeing what I saw over those few days. It just made me want it even more, just, you know, like grit, like you got to get this, you got to get this. All of these people have done it. You can do it too. And just keep your eyes on the prize. So that's my take. Oh, I love that, Letha. That was exactly how I felt when I walked away from my first corporate sponsored event with Plexus, which was a, our annual convention in 2014. I literally saw those thousands of people show up in our Dallas Convention Center. And I was like, if all these people can do this, I can do this too. There's no reason why I can't. And it just made me so confident that if I just stuck with it, I would get to where I wanted to go. And it happened. It may not have happened in the time that I thought it was going to happen, but it happened. So it speaks exactly to what I think Joya or Raniel said about doesn't matter how long it takes. You know, once you get to Diamond, it won't, it won't, it will not have mattered the, the how long the journey took. What matters is that you got there. So thank you so much for sharing that, Letha. We were really excited to have you there. Thank you. Okay, we're going to close it out with one of our top credit earners for the whole company as a brand new person starting out in the contest in July. Pamela, we want to hear from you because you did all the things. You got in early, you had a private driver, you went to the shopping spree yesterday, you got to take it all in, and you got to receive recognition on stage, and you're a part of a panel. So speak to us about all the things really quick. Oh my gosh. Um, I was just still kind of pinching myself. I'm just overwhelmed. Truly the company, since I've been here, everything, my life has been changed. I feel like I have hope now and I'm not going to cry. I just wanted to say thank you to everybody. I know. I get it. Trust me. Because you were all so warm and welcoming to the new person on the team. <laughs> And I just thank you guys so much for just opening up your hearts and accepting me. Um, as far as the cruise, the culture, the culture, the culture of the people, everybody from the leaders to everybody, the attitudes of the Plexus family, one Plexus is like the unity was tangible. Um, yes, I make great, great, great people. Um, I heard their stories, but I was so impacted by how everybody supported everybody no matter what, no matter who they were, everybody was so supportive. It was the person up, you know, you would have thought everybody was on the stage getting the $1,000 ball. Because <laughs> when they got it, everybody was like, yeah, yeah. Like I've never, I think somebody else said, I've never been in a culture like that before where it, it was from beginning to end, everybody was uh, just very genuine and very giving. And so it was amazing. And I kept pinching myself, you know, I'm like, okay, I got the top 10 thing and I got the shopping spree and this and the, that. And I just, I just kept pinching myself. Um, so some of my takeaways words were to celebrate the success of everyone. That's one of the things that I learned, um, believing in myself, taking care of yourself to take care of others. And then I loved what Alex said uh, about the bacon. I think somebody else mentioned that. Um, and the bacon stands for belief, believing in yourself, taking action. The A is for action. The C is for commitment. And I love the O is for one, plexus. And you can really feel that we are a family. It was amazing. And then the N is for never give up. So I just kept saying, Lord, what kind of company have you put me in? <laughs> you put me with this just amazing people um just like I said the culture was amazing and and then I learned so many things I have pages of notes 
from the diamonds and from all the other jewels. Um, they're so free in sharing what they've learned. They're free in sharing. This is how I got here. This is how you can get there too. Um, it wasn't like, okay, I have this secret and I'm going to keep it because I don't want you to have it. It was giving, 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 giving. The company is so giving. I, I just couldn't believe it. Um, even last night at the um, the farewell <laughs> dinner, I'm like, they just keep spoiling us and giving and giving and giving. And so um, I look forward to seeing everybody in Punta Cana and celebrating again. I just look forward to us growing together and continuing to go uh, level to level to level and just helping as many people as we can. So that's my little two cents. So, well, we just appreciate you so much, A, for representing our team so well, Pamela, and B, just being um, a, a symbol of hope and inspiration to a lot of us. A lot of us think that we've tapped out, like we, there's no one else that we know that would want to work towards something this amazing, but you are proof that out of nowhere, someone whose life can be transformed just by saying yes, just by clicking join, thinking that they just want to get some discomfort out of their joints and their knees. And then you go and sweep a contest in six weeks. It just shows you what's possible. And there are people out there just like you. You are not a unicorn. We all are not unicorns. We are special. We are unique, but there's others out there who want the same. And so I just appreciate you for, um, for being that, that inspiration for so many of us. I want to close with this. Um, I love, I love that Pamela mentioned that we share in each other's joy. It's actually um, a sign I made years ago when I used to be a scrapbooker and I still have it in my entryway of my, um, my entrance to my house of where my garage door is. And I made this poster of family rules. And one of the family rules is we share in each other's joy. And I made that way before I ever started Plexus. But when I started Plexus, that was one of the things that stuck out to me too, Pamela. I think many of you said it tonight, um, that it just, you the, the energy of one Plexus is really palpable. Like you can feel that people genuinely want to see you win. Even if you're not on the same team, if you're not on the same leg, if you're completely like opposites as far as demographic where you live or your socioeconomic status, it doesn't matter. Like everybody wants to genuinely see you win. And what was so evident was when they were doing those giveaways with the um, Price is Right. Like everybody was so excited to see someone win. They really wanted everybody to pick that thousand dollar ball every single time. They, they really wanted Gene and Alec to do double, like sooner than they wanted to. And Gene and Alec were like, okay, we'll do double and everybody's going to be double now. And I mean, it just was so beautiful to watch and see so many people cheering each other on with a genuine, a genuine notion that they want to see someone win and succeed. And so you don't see that a lot in the corporate world. You don't see that a lot, honestly, in families. You don't see it a lot, honestly, in social circles, you know, you just don't see that. And so I just appreciate each of you, um, A, those of you who shared, B, those of you who earned this amazing trip and actually showed up and attended and attended while you were there, like really focused on how do I want to move my business forward leaving here? Because it's all fine and dandy to earn a trip, right? But it doesn't do any good to earn the trip and then come home and kind of keep doing the same thing you've been doing. If you want your life to look different, if you want the, ne the next six months to look different, you have to start implementing the things that you've learned. So I appreciate you guys. I love each and every one of you. I want to see all of you who are on this call, almost 50 of you on this call to be in Punta Cana with us. Um, I just purchased my ticket today. I am ready. I am ready to go. And so I am just hoping and praying that more of you will see what this opportunity can do for you and your family and you will run hard after your goals and dreams. So love each and every one of you. You'll have a great rest of your night. If, if you're my push group, go ahead and join that call next. The link is in the page. All right. Talk to y'all soon. Bye, everybody. Y'all have a great rest of your week. Love you. Thank you. Blessings. Bye. 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 Bye.